Well, that day is we're getting ready to go to the Midland County Fair, which we've done for years and years and years. I was given a, a camper, and I was cleaning it up, getting ready to go. And I had one of those monitors on. I really didn't think much about it. I, I'd get a, one of those feelings, and I'd push the button. <clears throat> and after I called in, they... We're going to send the ambulance out, and I said, what for, you know? And anyways, they, uh, we didn't go in by the ambulance. He went in and took a shower. And, but once he went there, he didn't come back out until after his surgery. <laughs> um, I can recall when we operated on him, one of the things he was really missing that summer was not going to the fair in Midland. And uh, the first thing he did when he left the hospital was go right to this place near the uh, Midland uh, fairground so he'd be part of it. He couldn't really do the rides or do some of the things, but he could be part of it. Oh my goodness, Josh, I love you, Dr. Jones. <laughs> Not love you, love you, but I love you. <laughs> and I was real happy that he was going to do Jack's. Um, it just turned out great as far as I'm concerned. The, the thing that bothered me the most was I would thought about other people that were in the same situation that never uh, didn't get the chance. The symptoms I had were next to nothing. If he would have experienced what a lot of people do, like the ache in the ear and the arm and different things that were really scary, you know, first, but he didn't have any of that. So it's kind of like it was just kind of smooth in and smooth out. Really smooth in, smooth out. Really. I kind of making people um, sick of asking me how I'm doing. I always tell people if I was doing any better, it probably wouldn't be legal. I I am grateful that I am in good a shape as I am for my age.